What's up, Wad Prep? Coach Gary here, and in this video, we're going to give you three exercises that are going to help improve your snatch positioning. If you're somebody who has tends to get just achy shoulders or your shoulders get fried when you're doing a lot of snatching, these things are going to help increase our durability in the shoulders for the snatch, increase our positioning, better positioning in the snatch. So if you're somebody who struggles with those things, this video is exactly meant for you. So you're gonna have three drills that are gonna help fix that. But if you're somebody who just needs overall shoulder, better shoulder performance, check out the link in the video description below. We have the ultimate shoulder warm up in there for you. But that being said, let's get into these three drills that are going to help with your snatch pain and improve your snatch positioning. First exercise you're going to do is some snow angels on the foam roller. This is more than just a stretch. It is also a way we are going to relearn good motor patterning, good positioning in different ranges of motion, good shoulder mechanics, so we get a good, correct firing order and sequence in those shoulders. And also we will go ahead and get a nice little pec stretch in this. So this is going to translate very well over to good positioning in the snatch. So all you need is your standard, regular, long foam roller. You're going to go ahead, lay your whole spine on there, tailbone, and we need to make sure the head is in contact. So what we're going to do, palms up to the ceiling. I'm gonna get to take my watch off real quick. And we're going to create snow angels. But what I want you to focus on is keeping kind of ribs down. You can do that with exhalating, <sighs> exhaling everything out. So we're now learning how to integrate good core positioning into good shoulder positioning. So I have those palms up, just like we always talk about when we're talking about snatching, cueing, always showing you're the person, your uh, armpits. And we just come up and we just create some good snow angels. And what I want you to think about is if you come up and your hands are raising off the ground, let's only go to the point where we can keep a nice slide with our hands on the ground. I can come up, pause for a second, press into the ground, create a little external rotation. So think, show your armpits to the ceiling and then also exhale out. So we get that lower spine nice and flat, come back down. And then eventually you'll see I can create greater motion, range of motion, but I like coming up, getting a nice exhale. It's going to help you protract your shoulders, kind of get a little bit more lat expansion, open up and get better shoulder position. So you can see, right, that goes right to that good snatch position. So we're learning how to get that shoulder abduction with external rotation, just like we want for the snatch. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and stretch that pec minor. So what happens is the pec minor likes to kind of pull us down, pull downwardly depress our shoulders. And so we wanna open that up. So again, we are going to stay right on this roller, put your hand behind your head, and you're just gonna drop off, drop that shoulder off so you maybe feel a nice little stretch in your subscap and a little bit up in this pec minor. And we're just gonna keep it moving. So we just go in, drop that shoulder off, just let it hang and you don't have to think about pressing down or creating a big stretching feeling, right? We're just taking our shoulder through good range of motion. This automatically locks our hand in, so it automatically locks the shoulder in good external rotation. So you see my humerus is in that same position that the snatch would be, and I'm in a good externally rotated position, so I'm just doing some motor patterning. It's not gonna create too big of a tissue demand that you go in to your snatching and you've done too much stretching and you're not moving well, right? This is going to just tell the shoulders like, oh, this is how I should move. And if you're really locked down, this is gonna light you up a little bit more. And just let that scap just kind of fall off the, fall off the roller, right? I mean, some of us, our scap just doesn't move well with the shoulder joint and that causes some pain and some issues. And because the scap just kind of will brace if we've just put in a lot of load into it, we're not moving correctly. So let's get some movement, upward rotation into that shoulder blade, just integrating that shoulder blade with that shoulder head. So you can see I'm just dropping off into that good abduction, externally rotated position. You're gonna go ahead, do two sets of 15 each on those. All right, last exercise, we got some good integration Right, with those stretches, getting some nice abduction with external rotation, which is exactly what we're shooting for in the snatch. 
Now let's reintegrate and engage all those posterior muscles to also learn how to synergize in all those good positions and learn how to fire and stabilize the shoulder in that good position, right? We open it up and now we need to teach it to be active in that position. So I have a 10 pound, just double handed med band. We're just gonna do our banded angels. You've probably seen us do it for a lot of different exercises, but we love it. So we're here, up overhead. If you have a little bit more space, you can add a pull, come back down around and then pull back. But just for today's sake, and since my band is so close, I'm just going to come down, keep external rotation in this more low extension, so adduction position, come up. And same thing, keep some nice external rotation, come out and around and just work on those good shoulder mechanics that we just did with the snow angel, right? We're here, or with the lying snow angel. Now we're here with the banded snow angel and working on that same thing, keeping that nice externally rotated position through all of those ranges. It's going to help improve your shoulder mechanics and translate over to the snatch. Eventually, if you work on it enough, your reactive stability position in that snatch will be a good shoulder position. So sometimes, right, we could get into the barbell, but sometimes we just need a little motor pattern corrective and some stabilization activation in these positions before we get into the big barbell snatch. So that for this, the banded angel, two sets of 10. You can work your way up to three, four sets if you really need a little bit more endurance. All right, so give those drills a try. You can see what we're trying to do. We're trying to get better alignment and opening of the shoulders, right? We go into those snow angels. So we're coming into that abduction with external rotation and we're just working on good shoulder mechanics. So it's a stretch, but then it's also a motor pattern corrective to teach you to go up in this position in that nice externally rotated position. If you're somebody who is always stuck in internal rotation, you're standing and your thumbs are always just kind of turned into your body, right? That tells us that we're lacking external rotation. If your posture is always like this, when we come up, it's gonna be the same thing. It's not gonna magically all of a sudden just get to a great externally rotated position. You're still gonna be internally rotated in that shoulder, more likely to fry that bicep tendon. and just the shoulders get nice and achy after a big dosage of snatching. So we're gonna just snow angels. We're going to go ahead, work on good positioning, opening the pecs up, getting that abduction with external rotation, like the snatch, obviously. And then with the second stretch, with that pec minor stretch. So when we're here, right, this pec minor pulls down, connects into the ribs. It's on that core cord brachialis. And what that does, if it, if it is overactive and tight, it's going to keep us in this forward roll position. So when we get up into that snatch, it's not gonna to wanna to open up and allow us to actually rotate. So that's position number two, right? We're getting, again, with that pec minor stretch, you can see how we are up. Half of our arm, the humerus, is in this good, actually rotated position, just like it were if it were in the snatch. So that is going to help open up this structure right here that might be limiting that shoulder and frying that bicep tendon because what happens is that pec minor kind of meshes in with that bicep tendon. So again, we're always looking for good balance between different connection points of the shoulder. So if we're tight here, it's going to make it pull down more and put a big valgal load on that bicep tendon in the snatch. And then lastly, with the banded angels, as you can see, we're in this good position and we're just trying to get some good posterior engagement through all ranges of motion. It's going to translate over to the snatch and we're going to have a little bit more balance, right? We're going to have a better balance loading in the shoulder. The posterior muscles are going to fire more, so we're not always kind of driving and pressing so much through that anterior structure. Those three things are going to help you tremendously. So give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And then lastly, don't forget, in the link below, we have the ultimate shoulder warm up in there for you. Be sure to check it out. Please, please, please leave us a comment. Let us know if these helped you out with your snatch mobility. We always love hearing how we, we help our wad prep athletes. So if you follow us, please sure, be sure to leave a comment and we'll see you next time.